The Mossy Rock City Council passed the ordinance unanimously, and restaurant owners say they're glad to have the city's support, but what happens if those owners get fined? If I could afford to be more risky, I would. Running a small town diner is a risky venture, so the pantry owner, Amy Cooper Cravens, is not willing to defy the governor's order. If we get fined, yeah, then, you know, we, nobody's going to pay that fine. The city can't afford to pay those fines. The Pioneer Bar and Grill down the street is struggling to survive on takeout only, and as tempting as offering indoor seating is. I can't, because of the liquor board. Owner Georgia Weigan is afraid opening back up could cost her longtime bar its liquor license. When the governor has mandated in the first round to shut everything down, there was no cars here. Mossy Rock Mayor Randall Sasser headed up the ordinance, which called on the city to ignore the governor's latest restriction on indoor bar and restaurant service. But can a city overrule a governor's order? No, we don't have the authority. But what it does do, it does exactly what's happening right now. It gets the word out. It gets people thinking about really what is happening. He says those decisions should be left up to local health departments, just like the school boards decided to reopen some schools to in-person learning, like the Mossy Rock School District. Did. The mayor fears the latest restrictions will put Mossy Rock's bars and restaurants out of business. Has given their life savings to open up a business in a small community and then be ordered to be shut down and not have any restitution to help them survive. That's a shame. I don't want to be considered as a sheep, but I also want to do what I have to to keep my doors open. Amy Cooper Cravens appreciates the council's attempt, but says now is not the time to take a chance. The city is behind us, but without any legal ground to stand on, I guess it's a matter of how risky the business owners want to be. Mayor Sasser says if nothing else, he hopes this ordinance will establish a precedent in the state, giving local authorities more power the next time the governor declares a state of emergency. In Mossy Rock, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.